Well, the Lakers championship run had a solemn start to 2020 with the tragic death of Kobe Bryant on January 26 in a helicopter crash that killed him, his daughter Gigi, and several others there in Los Angeles. And when the Lakers played their first game after Kobe's death, at a pregame ceremony there on January 31st, moment of silence, here's what LeBron said in honor of Kobe that evening. So in the words of Kobe Bryant, Mamba out, but in the words of us, not forgotten. Live on, brother. Then after that moment, there were constant reminders of Kobe throughout the season, February 6, 2020. LeBron with the windmill dunk. See that awesome picture? Was it what first time we'd seen it? Kobe did the exact same dunk against the Kings on November 18, 2001, same end of the floor, same basket. LeBron, yeah, he knew that. You know, it's almost, it's, it's crazy how it was starting the same exact dunk on the same exact hoop, um, you know, that Kobe did, they said, what, 19 years ago or something like that? That, it was, it was, that was nuts. I, 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 August 24, 2020, of course, 824. LeBron wore a Bryant jersey on his way to game four of the first round against the Trailblazers. 24 on his finger, 24 and eight on his shoes. The Lakers start the game on a 24 to eight run on Mama Day. As Contavious Caldwell Pope gets the and one layup. And LeBron also adding some perspective to that moment. To so go out there and, um, and, and one day removed from his birthday um, and then his his day of 824 to be able to have a game on this day. Um, the stars aligned. And when I looked up there and seen 24 to eight, I was like, okay, this is, um, uh, he's here in the building. So, um, you know, it was, a, it was a beautiful, beautiful night for our, for our franchise. Um, and it's something that, that we probably will always uh, remember. All right, let's go to September 20th, game two, Western Conference Finals. Lakers down one, two seconds ago. Rondo to AD. Who knocks down the three at the buzzer? The Lakers bench erupts. We'll show you this one more time because there was something that a lot of people noticed right off the jump. The Kobe five that AD's wearing. They got the black Mamba jerseys on. And then after AD knocks down the game winner, what does he say? Kobe, AD about that game winner, a la Kobe Bryant. To a After you hit the shot, it looked like on the video that you mouthed Kobe. Uh, not sure if that was actually the case. I did. <laughs> you know, I mean, obviously wearing the jerseys. Um, he he's hit countless uh, shots like that. You know, to win games. You know, that's that's a shot Kobe Bryant would hit. You know, so to me, you know, AD coming off, you know that, you know, just flying to the wing like that. With the catch and shoot with the game on the line in the, in the biggest moment of our season, nothing but net, it's a Mamba shot. And AD and LeBron and the Lakers, they win that championship in 2020, 17th in franchise history. LeBron taking home a finals MVP for the fourth time. Kobe did it twice with the Lakers. And if you thought they thought about Kobe all season long, you know they did tonight as well. You know, ever since the trage tragedy, you know, all we wanted to do was is do it for him, and we didn't let him down. Um, it would have been great to do it, you know, last game in his jerseys, but you know, it made us come out even more aggressive, even more powerful on both ends of the floor to make sure we close it out tonight. And I know he's looking down on us, proud of us. Um, I know, you know, Vanessa's proud of us. The organization's proud of us. Um, you know, it, it means a lot to us. And, you, know. you know, we wanted to win in the Mama jerseys, you know, so bad. You know, we, we just didn't do it, but you know, this was for Kobe, regardless of what jersey we had on. We know we had to do this for Kobe and GG and the rest of the Laker Nation, man. This was a special one. 2020 has been a, a tragic and very difficult year in many ways with what happened on January 26th. And I think Kobe and Gianna have guided this team the entire year. Um, Kobe's voice is always in my head, always, every day, every minute. 
And I think to be able to, for LeBron and Anthony and Coach Vogel and myself and Jeannie, for us to be able to win this championship doesn't take away the sting uh, of the loss, but what it does is it helps us add to their legacy. Kobe and Gianna's legacy will last forever. It will impact lives around the world in positive ways. And this championship, this Lakers championship in 2020 is partly to build on that legacy and honor them. And, and for us to be able to do that, the, no, the moment couldn't be any more special to do that for them. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.